I was very lucky when I started off that I worked in a cancer hospice in uh, Porthcore. Um, I'm from South Wales and um, the biggest cancer hospice in Wales was um, quite close to me and it was where I did my anatomy and physiology courses uh, from a wonderful teacher there who was also a Bowen instructor and did his own version of Bowen and he was treating on a weekly basis all of the uh, cancer patients there not only the cancer patients but the carers as well and the staff and quite soon after I went through my first lot of Bowen training Howard retired so then there was no one then to carry on all these treatments when Howard was doing it he had a team of people helping him so he had three or four Bowen um, therapists working with him um, for all day uh, on, on, a, on every Wednesday so I helped out by taking over from Howard and nobody else carried on so that was then in, I was doing the work of um, four therapists so that seemed a bit daunting but I wasn't going to let down uh, cancer patients and things but what it was it was a real gift because what happened then I started treating uh, eight or nine people at a time so what we had was um, eight or nine couches in a room and so what I did is I, I did um, nine people an hour so my treatments lasted 45 minutes and of course it was a turn over time and doing the notes and everything and so every hour I treated nine people well how good was that I was getting such good feedback from people um, I was learning my trade and um, helping people that had a cancer and interestingly there was one um, one doctor there who uh, a week before he died he said to me Andy when I was practicing I would never have allowed anybody to come and see you but he said I don't know what you're doing but you're taking my pain away and you're helping me and so that was interesting wasn't it that um, I changed him around it was on the end of his life but I changed around his views on uh, complementary therapy or massage or bowing or that sort of thing I changed his views which was really nice and um, Oh, we had, I had a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lady that used to come. Um, she was a cancer patient. And of course, uh, people say you can't treat cancer. Well, I wasn't treating the cancer. I was just treating the person. They had cancer. I was treating them. I wasn't trying to cure them or anything. I was just helping them with their pain, helping them with the journey. And um, I noticed after a couple of weeks of treating this lady that um, she would be crying when... Uh, when I was treating her and I could see the odd tear coming down she wouldn't be sobbing or anything but uh, you know I could see tears falling down her cheeks and I said are you okay and she said yes she said every time you do your first touch I can feel my pain just leaving me and she said it's it's really emotional and so every week after that I would say, are you crying again? And she'd say, yeah. And I'd know all was well. Her pain was leaving her and all was well. How good is that? That's wonderful, isn't it? So I got many happy memories of working in a cancer um, clinic and I treated hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people there. And it was uh, probably the best time therapy-wise in my life. And um, and I, I miss it, actually. I, I miss the... I miss helping the people and hopefully you can do the same but you can help people and take them out of pain and even if it's temporarily help them um, like some like I was saying before somebody with conditions and um, they can they're still gonna have the condition so if they've got cancer or Parkinson's or MS or ME they're still gonna be a recurring long-term uh, need for help and which is wonderful isn't it that we can help them so Enjoy the learning. Thank you.